Guys, I just got back from the doctor's office and guess what they told me? They told me that I was overweight and needed to lose weight because according to my height and weight, my BMI is in the overweight range. So just in case anyone was wondering, this is what overweight looks like. Yeah, so I guess overweight has visible abs now. There's a more important teachable lesson here. Imagine a doctor looking at her and saying, yes, you are overweight. It is obviously ludicrous. We can all agree on that already. BMI crudely guesses your body composition. People with higher BMIs tend to have more body fat on average, but there are anomalies. If you work out and have a lot of muscle mass, you can be described as overweight, even if your body fat is low. Meaning bodybuilders are often described as being obese, even when they have visible six packs. Which is why you need to use other, more precise tools like waist circumference or waist to height ratio, which could indicate that you have more abdominal fat, which is an independent health risk factor over BMI alone. Basically, we know that BMI can be used to roughly predict trends on a population level, but it cannot be used in isolation to accurately predict your body composition specifically. But the lesson known lesson? Many people still use it in isolation to predict your health. If you are overweight, you will often get immediately lectured about your poor life choices. No medical tests necessary. No fitness tests either. No lifestyle questionnaires to even see how you eat. It is just a case of you are overweight, so you are unhealthy. Many gym Bros and gym broettes get pissed off when BMI is used to make some faulty snap judgment assumptions about their body composition. But it's still common practice to use it to make snap judgments about your health. Maybe, just maybe, your health is more multifaceted than how much you weigh.